What's up, guys? Devil Dog Gamer here. Kitty cat. So, I'm kind of pissed off. I'm going to show you why. Alright, first off, I'm going to point something out for you guys. <clears throat> Here's my airsoft gun collection, right? I'm going to point to the ones that work. Well, or that are currently operational. That one. And... Oh, the VSS works. That's it. Um, broken cylinder, broken gas mask, mag, uh, mag um, broken buttstock, no lipos, gas mags are busted, and hop ups busted. Oh, and the other one just a piece of shit. Okay, so yeah, that's my issue with airsoft at the moment. But I had a solution. I was like, you know what? Let's build that badass sniper rifle. So we can start doing those fucking awesome s sniper cams. Well, this is the result. This is a VSR-10, Tokyo Marui VSR-10 G-Spec. Now inside of it, I have a Lalax trigger, Lalax cylinder, piston, 190 spring, spring guide, and then I have a PDI hop-up with a 6.01 PDI barrel. But guess what? It don't work! The motherfucker doesn't work! Let me, let me, let me give you the lowdown on this thing. All right, first of all, you, you probably notice how I have like foam right here. It's because this thing is retarded hard to pull back. Like, my, I don't know if you can see all the bruises and stuff in my hands. It's bad. It's really bad. Okay, so I got this thing. First thing that came in was a Lalax trigger, the spring, all that shit. So I put it in, right? That whole system is supposed to make it 500 F FPS and over. I was worried I was going to be over. So I shot it with the stock hop up and stock barrel, and with three sixes I was getting 302 FPS, completely consistent, which leads me to believe it wasn't an air leak because it wouldn't have been as consistent. With two O's I was getting 400 on the dot consistently, which again leads me to believe that there's not an air leak because it's getting consistent FPS, unless it's a consistent air leak. That shouldn't happen. It should have been 500 or higher with this spring system. I mean, to pull this spring back, I have to put the muzzle in the ground, put it on my, post it on my chest, and pull back with both hands. It's that fucking hard. I'll show you guys. I'll set it up and show you. Um, so that happened. So then I got my hop up and barrel. Let me tell you, PDI, holy fuck, your shit's hard to fucking put together. So I finally got a guide, followed the T, put it all together, and put it together. And fired it. And guess what happened? It comes out a foot. It literally, the BB flies out a foot and falls to the ground. Not only that, upon the second time firing it, I don't know if we can see this, that came out from somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's like sheared clean. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know. On top of that, I'm getting my mag stuck in the mag well. Um, it doesn't want to engage correctly, it seems like. Um, I had to take the barrel spacer off because I, I didn't have a screw or, or a drill bit that could drill it out for the barrel. So I'm thinking that might be the issue with the FPS, but I don't see how the end of the barrel not resting on something would cause the BB that's supposed to be rated at close to 500 FPS to fly out a foot into the ground. Kind of pissed about this. I've been waiting for this fucking gun set up for a fucking long time. But anyways, let's show you how, let's, let's show you how it cocks. Let's let's show you this bullshit. Like how the fuck am I? <sighs> All right, here we go. <sighs> there it is. Fucking loud as shit. I mean, I, I do I have a mag with BBs in here? No, I don't. I mean, it literally flies out like a foot. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it, man. I'm like, I, yesterday when I when I was putting this together. I literally almost threw it in the woods. I was that fucking pissed off. Because I was going to play Sunday with everybody. Because I haven't been able to play Airsoft in the past like week. Because of trips and then rain and stuff. And I was like, dude, we're going to get so much good footage of this thing. Fucking wrong. I don't know. I don't know what's up. I don't know if it's the hop-up that's causing that issue. I mean, like, if you can see here. I don't know if it's the piston not engaging. Or what. Maybe it's got to be up a little farther. I don't know. I did have an issue 
where the um, the cylinder nozzle wasn't going all the way into the hop up. So this area right here, it was like halfway in. And that was because those two holes you see there, the small holes are where the hop up screws go for the PDI hop up. And it was, they were down too far. So I fixed that and then it kind of pushed in. I don't know if it's not all the way up. Like should this be all the way up? I don't know, maybe. Fuck Fino. Dude, most of these fucking tutorials on how to put these guns together are made by like 12 year olds. Honestly, I went through YouTube and the dudes are all like fucking 12. And like, I'm like, how the fuck? I don't know how to follow it. Because they're all over the place. I don't know. I'm just pissed off. I, I think if I don't get this gun working, I might quit Airsoft. Because I'm so, literally, so done with Airsoft. Like, I'm, all my guns are down, man. I'm, I'm tired of spending money on shit that breaks. Like a week later. And before you say go play paintball, fuck paintball. That's just as bad. Are you serious? You want me to go play paintball? It's just, ugh. I'm so mad. I'm so fucking pissed. I don't get it, man. I don't fucking get it. I don't know. If you have any suggestions, maybe you can help me fix it. Let me know. I don't know. If not, I think I'm just going to ship it to somebody who knows what they're doing and maybe fix it. But knowing my luck. Oh, and then look at this. You can see how that trigger guard's sticking out a bit? Well, that's because for the Lalax trigger, you got to cut this trigger guard. Well, guess what Lalax didn't provide in their fucking shit? Oh, the guide on where to cut it. Yeah, thanks, Lalax, Japanese piece of shit company. So, I had to follow a tutorial. Guess what? Another 12-year-old, he's like, oh, this is where you cut it. I cut it there, and this trigger guard's a little too low, and the back end's a little too high, because I followed that fuckwit. Well, now I gotta screw it in real far, and you can see it doesn't seat all the way down, which doesn't make an issue. Everything still lines up perfectly, so it's not a big deal. I mean, this is all one assembly and then it's on the body. So it just doesn't link up on the body right. So it's no big deal, but still. Thanks, 12-year-old, for your fucking awesome shitty guide. But anyways, that's the deal with Airsoft. That's probably why you haven't seen Airsoft in a while, because everything's down. Um, everything. I have my stock Airsoft gun rifle, but I mean, where I play, I, I need this to work to make footage. Like, I miss 100 more shots than I hit with that gun, so I don't know. So that's the dealio right now. So, if you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, let me know, and we'll try to fix it. Sorry, I'm like scrubbing it today. I've been working like a fuck ton. I've been up to t till 3 a.m. from 9 to 3 nights for the past three days in a row because I got to go to San Francisco. I got to make sure I got all the videos. Oh, look. Here's all my Star Wars stuff. I got more coming. I'm really excited. I fucking love this game. Star Wars X-Wing is the coolest fucking game ever. I'm so excited. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.